What up, everyone? It's Tim Ali here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, there are no guarantees. Start living. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to the podcast. So happy to be with you here on a beautiful morning in sunny Southern California. And it's actually not sunny right now because I'm here by the beach, by the harbor, by the yacht, hanging out with my team here in what we call our funnel. What do we call this thing? High Page Funnel Workshop. That's what it's called. We've had so many events this year, and we'll be in Tulsa this weekend. We'll be in Dallas next week. We'll be in Utah, then back in Dallas, and back in Dallas, and back in Southern California to finish out the year with the bang. But here's the point of the podcast today. There's no guarantees. Woke up this morning, and as I'm getting my kids ready for school, hanging out with my wife, we're reading some scriptures, and I'm like, you know, like, we'll just do what we do in the morning, right? There's, where's my backpack? Where's my lunch? And my wife comes to me and her eyes are like watery. And she says, he passed away. And I'm like, who? And she mentioned the name of one of our good friends who's not old. He's like in his 40s. He's young. And of course, I go to the Facebook and I, I look and he passed away last night or early this morning. Healthy lean, in shape, beautiful family, incredible wife, children, and he passed away. Now they don't know why, all they said was he was playing pickup basketball, hanging out with the boys, and he collapsed, and then he passed away a few hours later. You see, this is tragic, and yet it can be empowering, why? There are no guarantees in life. There's not. Like People today walk around thinking, I still have time. And they just wait and they surf and they scroll and they waste their precious time on dumb stuff. It's crazy. This happens quite often these days as I get older. I see people young who pass away. Like, this was a great man with a family, with young children, with a wife who loved him. This He was a bishop of his ward, of his congregation. Incredible man, and he's gone. Like, gone, like, like that, just gone. So what's the message today? Like, what's the whole thing of this? Dude, there's no guarantees. Stop living life like you've got all this time and go handle your business. I'm sitting in a room with my signs all around. We got clients in town. We got 10 people here from around the world, from around the country, Idaho to New York, Arizona, to Texas, to Utah, California, Missouri. I've always wanted to do what I'm doing. And even though I'm scared, I'm afraid, what if we fail? We have all these thoughts and stories that pop up. I just know. I refuse to go to my grave with my song still in me. I refuse to pass on and graduate from this life having not ever lived, having not ever gone after the things that I want. I refuse to go to my grave not having the relationships in my life cleaned up and back in alignment. Ill feelings, bitter feelings, grudges. You don't got time for that if you understand that you are going to die. That's right. We are all going to die. And if you know that you're going to die, and if you knew, as one of my coaches said back in the day, I'll never forget this. Satema, if you just knew, if you really knew how short life was, and that in a matter of days, you're going to be bones and dust in a bag six feet in the ground, you would, you would not be afraid to ask for anything. You would make bigger requests of life. You would go after the things that you wanted to go after. Which means what? Stop waiting for some future day. Stop waiting for the stars to align. Stop waiting to write the book. Stop waiting to build the business. Stop waiting to build that funnel, that marketing campaign. Stop waiting to take your your wife or your husband out on a date. Stop waiting to go tell someone that you forgive them 
or to ask for forgiveness. Stop waiting. Waiting is evil. It's like evil because we wait, which is a sign of procrastination, which is really driven by fear. The reason why people procrastinate and wait is because they are driven by fear. Fear of what? Fear of, of failure, fear of success, fear of whatever. Fill in the blank. I don't care, but just know this. If you're waiting, you're in trouble. There's no guarantees. Zero. So what would happen in your life if you started living today? Think about in your life. Think about the big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. The big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. In the physical world, are you still waiting to lose weight, to gain muscle, to do the triathlon? Are you still waiting to start the diet every Monday? Say, oh, I'm going to start next time. Are you still waiting to go exercise? Are you still waiting? Because, well, I feel awkward if I walk into the gym. What will people think about me? Are you still waiting? Spiritually, are you still waiting to come back to God or to your purpose? Are you still waiting to go to church? Well, I was offended because someone said something to me, and I'm not going to connect with God. Go to Home Depot, buy, buy a hammer and hit yourself with it, please. Relationships, man, this is a big one. This is one of the biggest regrets. They've interviewed executives and CEOs and people who had this high success. And they said, what would you do different? They said, man, I would I'd be there more for my family. I would have been more patient with my children. I would have kept a close relationship with my parents. Like, stop waiting. Go handle these relationships. Go get your marriage right. Go get the relationship with your parents right. It was amazing. I had a, a client here a year and a half ago. Came to my program, loved it. She says she wanted to come into the program for the next 12 months. And then she gives us the non-refundable deposit. And she's like, I'm in. And then she goes home and a week later, she's like, I'm out. And of course, I'm like, well, this is non-refundable. And she, you know, she was not happy. And whatever happened right, with her and with me, it was just like, it, it, didn't, it didn't end the way I wanted to have ended because when someone tells me they wanna, they, they're committed, I'm going to hold them to that standard. Long story short, 18 months has gone by. I gave her her money back. I was like, look, that's, I don't want it. And I was like, you're clearly not a person of your word. And I meant it when I said it. And I was like, you know, I'm, as a coach, like, I'm going to call it how it is. Earlier this week, she shot me a text message and she said, I'm sorry how things were she's like I respect you and I just wanted to clear this up and of course I, I shoot back a text message right away I'm like man I, I, I have nothing but love for you you and your husband your family like you know of course just know like I'm a coach so I don't care to be friends with people but thank you and I was like thank you so much the message means the world to me and we've exchanged some some text messages back and forth this week and it's just amazing that this thing got cleaned up and I'm grateful that she She's, I mean, she's an amazing person. Things happen on their side, and she made some decisions for her. And the point is, like, there's a relationship that got mended. And I'm so grateful. Financially, like, what are you still waiting for in the business world, in your job? Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. It's crazy what fear can do to people. I know a gal who came through our program, and she is two credits shy of graduating from this university. Two credits. She's almost 40 years young. So she comes to Shield Maiden and she tells us, she's like, I'm just afraid. I'm just so afraid. Like, what if I go back to the university and they say, oh, sorry, sorry, we don't have your stuff. It's too late. Of course, what do we do? We punch her in the face. I'm like, dude, slap yourself. Come on, don't be silly. Face the thing, go confront this thing. And I'm like, what's the worst thing that could happen if you go back? And she's like, I guess they said that I can't graduate. I'm like, yeah, and what's the best thing? She's like, I graduate. This is a couple weeks ago. You get a message and she's like, I went to the university and I said, like, here's, and she, the thing that she was terrified of, she went and asked them and they said, oh yeah, it's all here. You only have two credits and they're too general. They're too, they're too general. Like they're, they're, they're so basic. She's now enrolled in the online classes and guess what? We're going to party like it's 1999 as soon as she graduates with her degree. Isn't that amazing? Look what fear has done for almost 20 years for this young lady. Well, she's still young to me. What's the point? Stop waiting. Stop waiting. There's no guarantees. A good friend and brother passed on. What an amazing life you lived in. He was young. 
And I have a feeling that he really lived life. Like from what I see and what I saw and what I experienced with him, he lived. My question is, are you living? Are you still waiting? Are you going to take the trip and you're going to go travel? You're going to write the book? You're going to launch the business? You're going to go after that relationship? You're going to go mend things? You're going to lose the weight? You're going to get more healthy? Are you going to reconnect with God? Or, or are you going to wait until the stars align? And that's the biggest thing I want you to just consider. Are you going to wait until it's too late? Or are you going to take action today? Do something today. There ain't no guarantees. Because if you understood how short life really was and that a matter of hours, days, hell, it could be tonight for some of you, you start asking. You start asking for bigger things. You start making bigger requests. You would stop letting fear stop you from going to complete the thing you really wanted to do. So when you do go to your grave and when you are called to graduate and to move on from this life, you can go empty, meaning you, there are no regrets and there are no dreams or songs that had not been accomplished and sung. Do something today, my friends. Don't wait, because if you wait, it will be too late. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com. And join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.